Hi everyone, welcome to the next instalment of Lockdown Resilience. Um, last time we talked a lot about being in the moment and trying to use your senses, your sight, your smell, your hearing to, to be right here, right now. And what I'm going to go through today is a little exercise that we do in the resilience training, which is about figuring out all the different elements of you that, that make up you as a whole person. And what I want to do is to build on what I talked about last time and saying when you're in the moment, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever role that you're fulfilling in your life, to try to be 100% in that role. Now, there's a really easy way to illustrate this that I like to do, which is a sort of pie chart of what makes you you. And it's quite a helpful little exercise that you can do either in your head or on a piece of paper. But I'm just going to demonstrate for you... Um, my pie chart and then you can see exactly what I mean. So the first thing you do is to make a list of all the roles that you play in your life. So I am a mum, I'm a wife, I'm a stepmum, I'm a dog owner, I'm a daughter, Sister, friend, and I'm a psychologist, I'm a teacher, I'm a supervisor, I'm a scuba diver, I'm a music lover. So you see the list can go on and on and on. And then what you have to try and do is to figure out the pie chart of your life. So you take the circle and you think, OK, great. How much of my day am I spending on each of these things every day? And it's not just how much physical time, but how much mental time as well. How much brain space are these things taking up? And then you try and fit them into the pie chart. And that can be the tricky bit, because actually being a mum is a really significant role in my life. So that's probably taking up 50%. So family life would be at least 50%. You know, I want to put some time and energy into my relationship with my husband. So that's got to take a pretty significant portion on top of the family life stuff. Then what about friends? It's really hard. You can't see your friends at the moment, but it, that makes the phone calls and the Zoom calls even more important. The virtual pub. So there's a wedge for that there. Same goes for daughter and sister, actually, with the, having those, um, those Zoom conversations and keeping in touch. So that's a significant amount of time. We've got our hour of exercise a day, and that's with the dog. So he takes up an awful lot of our time and energy and thought. That's not leaving a lot of time for psychologist and teacher and supervisor. Now, the trouble is, when work stuff is taking up, say, this much of your pie chart, what's getting squashed out? What's getting frozen out? Because sometimes it's a lot easier, rather than saying to yourself, I've got to stop thinking about work, I've got to stop worrying about this so much, rather to make the other bits bigger. So rather than going home, and particularly for those who, who live alone and haven't got necessarily the distraction of other people at home, if you're finding you're thinking about work, what else could you put some time and energy into? What other wedge of your pie needs some attention? Could that be bringing your best mate? Could it be listening to your favourite album? Whatever it needs to be. Now, obviously, I don't spend an awful lot of my time scuba diving, but I spend an awful lot of my time thinking about it and planning the next time I'm going to go. And that gives me a break from work stuff. Now, obviously, at the moment, COVID is everywhere. It's all over Facebook. It's all over the news. It's all everybody's talking about. But when you are immersed in COVID at work, 
try and take a break from it outside of work. Try and give one of these other wedges a bit of time, a bit of space and deliberately putting yourself into that activity. So rather than being on the work WhatsApp whilst also cooking your dinner, put the WhatsApp down, cook dinner, enjoy cooking dinner, get into it. Be at work when you're at work, when you're not at work, be one of all the other things that go to make up you. All right, I'll leave it there. Hope everyone's okay. Take care.